love Pat. I think she's great. She's absolute character. But now I know what happened to the birthday flowers I was expecting oh, on yes, Friday. Yes, yes. Well, I just want to write and say, look, the red sofa's here, George, if you want to come and have a chat any time. <laughs> OK, <laughs> on, to sp on, to, on to sport. Would you like to do sport? Would you like to do weather? I think we've done the sport. Let's Shall do, the, we do weather? the weather. Let's have a look at our <laughs> pictures today. And people were out early this morning. This is Sturminster Marshall at sunrise, thanks to Paul DeMarco for that. And this is how Wareham looked first thing, captured by Rachel Baker. Thank you. Well, we had plenty of lovely spring sunshine across the region today, but some chilly winds and some showers too. And we continue with that mixed theme over the next couple of days. For tonight, though, we're dry to start, but western parts will start to see some rain arriving by dawn. So through the coming hours, a few showers knocking around. People uh, will see some dry skies for a time, but you'll see this band of rain making its way in from the west. So by morning, some parts will be wet. Uh, overnight lows, though, not too bad. We're looking at five to seven Celsius widely, but the winds quite strong overnight. So into tomorrow morning, it's a wet start for most places and through the morning, you'll certainly see some showery outbreaks. That rain though clearing away to the east. By the afternoon, we're starting to see some sunny spells develop and the top temperature around nine Celsius. But with the lighter winds, it won't feel quite as cold as it has done today. Through tomorrow evening then, well, it's another showery story, I'm afraid. Plenty of showers moving up through the channel and uh, some of those could be quite heavy at times. Overnight lows, again, in the region of four or five Celsius for most places. As we look ahead to Thursday then, we can see the low pressure that's uh, dominating and that's going to feed in some more showers for a time throughout the day. So some brighter skies, I think, for a time, but you'd be wise to keep your brolly to hand. So that low pressure that's feeding in those showers stays with us through Thursday. We'll start to see it finally move off uh, on Friday as we start to see some high pressure build. So by the weekend, things are starting to look much more settled, some <coughs> warm sunshine to enjoy, but it will be chilly by night. So gardeners take note. For the next couple of days then, tomorrow is a showery story, some bright spells and sunshine, but uh, nine Celsius are high. Thursday is a rainy story, much the same for Friday, but things pick up for the weekend. Sam, Sally. thanks very much. A disabled teenager from Havant who made a video which has gone viral has received a phone call from Sir Elton John, who said he was moved to tears by it. Lewis Hine created it to mark his 16th birthday and it's now been viewed nearly 7 million times on Facebook. He was diagnosed with a brain tumour at just 17 months and the video follows his treatment and also the charity he set up to help teenagers like him find friends. Well, in his phone call, Sir Elton called Lewis inspirational and here's why.
Yeah, the lovely Lewis Hine, and what a video. I think you'll agree, you can be moved to tears by that. And it's so inspirational. And Lewis and his mum, Emma, will be telling their story on the BBC Breakfast Sofa tomorrow morning, so you might want to catch them talking about that from 6 a.m. That's it from us this evening. There's more at 8 and 10.30. Thanks for watching. Be with us tomorrow if you can. Bye-bye.